So as the title of the video says, I've had the wheels done and I thought I'd show you guys around the car and show you what the wheels look like. So what I did is I had them sprayed in gloss black and I think they came out very, very nice. And I've also had new tires fitted in the back, which I'm going to show you guys now. They were actually able to repair all four wheels, so I was very lucky with that. And I'm going to show you guys around the wheels now, I'll give you guys a close-up. One of the things I really love about the fact that they're black now is that the red calipers really stand out. I think in my previous video I mentioned that I was actually thinking of fitting mud flaps to the car. A lot of you said I really shouldn't do that because it would detract from the looks of the car. But just look at this, just from one trip on the road. And that is when I went to um, go and collect my wheels. So I think I'm going to be fitting my flaps to the car and I don't think they're going to be um, intrusive into the looks of the car. I think they're actually going to look quite nice. Just getting back to the wheels, they actually gave me a loaner set of wheels to use for a few days while they had my wheels and were repairing my wheels. And um, the wheels that they gave me didn't quite fit my car 100%. So I drove the car home, which was around 64 kilometers and I just parked it in the garage and I left it in the garage. I wasn't prepared to drive it any further because I didn't want it to damage the hubs. Luckily it didn't. I was so happy to get my own rims back and these are the new tires I've actually had fitted and I just want to show you guys I've had the same tires fitted that were on the car. They are Pirelli's they are 285, 30, 20 inch and um, they have a very soft compound which means that these tires are not going to last long in this car um, and I'm not really bothered about that. I want the car to have excellent handling and to have the stock standard wheel size that it had when it came from the factory. I could have gone with a smaller set of tires like 255, 35s and um, it probably would have been cheaper to do that and they probably would have lasted longer I guess but I wanted to make sure that the car's holding on the road is still the same as what it was from factory and um, just trying to show you guys the front tire is also pretty new there you can see now the previous owner fitted a new front tire on the front and the other one's tread was actually very good still. So I think front tires are not a problem on this car. It's the rear tires that actually wear off much, much quicker. The car has quite a lot of power and every time I pull away, it wants to wheel spin. So I have to be very, very careful uh, and feather the throttle to pull away. But I just think the overall look is awesome. So what do you guys think? These are the supercharged rims and I just love the way the, the wheels shine and glisten in the sun with the gloss black. They really make the car look like a brand new car overall. And you know, the body of the car is in very good condition as well. The paint's in very good condition. So I think right now I'm quite lucky to have a car that's looking, well, almost new. So the place I actually took my mags to was High Tech Mag Repair and they were around 64 kilometers from my house so it was quite a far way to drive to have it done but considering the well the high tech they actually used to fix these rooms um, it's quite amazing because I saw worse wheels I thought mine were bad but I saw wheels there that they were going to repair that looked way worse than mine um, they even do repairs for accident damage vehicles, um, you know, for body shops and that kind of thing. So, you know, there were some rims where the face of the rim was actually completely gone. Um, there were some where the entire uh, a whole chunk was missing out of the rim and they repaired those rims. They even had a set of Porsche rims that they were doing for uh, the dealer, you know, Porsche dealer. So, you know, that's testament to just how well they actually do wheels. 
and I'm very, very happy with the end result. Um, I don't think I could actually be happier. The car's just driving so much better and the suspension is really, really excellent on this car. The way it absorbs bumps and, you know, undulations in the road, it's just amazing. You know, there again, I just want to show you guys the crud that splashed up onto my car. I told you guys in my previous video, these cars do need mud flaps, especially on a white car. You're going to end up having your car look like that. I haven't ordered a set yet and unfortunately there's not much that I can order from AliExpress because most of my orders they've actually asked me to cancel. They've been giving me some really, really strange reasons. Um, you know, like the spoiler, for example, they told me that the mold for the carbon fiber spoiler that I ordered is broken. Um, or was damaged in the floods or something like that, I can't remember, but I had to cancel the order. So, and I'm not prepared to pay $100 shipping for a spoiler that costs only $90. I'm going to have to just wait until, um, you know, lockdown is over all over the world and that flights can resume again and that I can actually, you know, pay normal shipping because right now DHL are making a killing you know, charging exorbitant prices for shipping, sometimes three, four, five times more than the item itself uh, is even worth. So um, I'm just not prepared to, to pay that. So that's it really. I just want to give you guys an update on what the wheels look like. And I think they look really, really awesome. Um, the other thing is I will be taking the car very, very soon for the transmission service. I actually phoned ZF and they quoted me 50% off on a transmission service. That includes the oil, the labor, as well as the filter and sump, because the filter and the sump are one unit really, so they have to replace that. So um, I'll be giving you guys an update on that in the next video, and hopefully a few other things. I actually checked on the brakes on the car, and the brakes do need replacing. Um, the discs, <laughs> I don't think the discs or the brakes have actually been done uh, since the car was new. So um, I got a very, very big quote from my dealer. And unfortunately, I don't have the equipment to do this job at home. Otherwise, I would have tried to, number one, get the parts on eBay and try and do it myself here at home. But the problem is I can't buy anything on eBay or Amazon right now, so I can't even buy the parts because uh, they're not shipping to South Africa because there are no flights coming out of South Africa or even going into South Africa. So I'm kind of stuck. Um, and I, I had the brake warning light come on, um, you know, when I was driving to go and fetch my rims. The guy said to me that it was probably because of the, the tire pressure system not recognizing their wheels. Um, but it did reset itself and I'm not quite sure if, um, if it's going to hold, but I don't really care about that. I've just done a visual inspection of the brakes and they actually do look like they need replacing. So um, that's probably the next job I'm going to do. Yeah, and then there are a few smaller things that I need to do, like the seat belts. They're not retracting very fast and I know exactly what to do to fix that. And I'll show you guys a little trick on how to do that. And um, yeah. So stay tuned, there are lots of exciting videos coming up on the car and uh, I might even, once I've got everything sorted out, then I can maybe do a drive in the car and do a drive video on the performance of the car. So thank you for watching and those of you who have subscribed, thank you very much as well. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.